In this lab, you'll be using a phase separation technique called extraction to isolate an organic molecule, caffeine, from a mixture. You can separate an organic molecule from a mixture by extraction with an organic solvent. In this video, you can see that as this mixture is allowed to separate, different layers form. The cool thing that happens is that as the phases separate into organic and aqueous, the organic phase drags, or the proper term is extracts, organic molecules from the aqueous layer into its own phase. Weigh and record the mass of your no-dose tablet. Using the mortar and pestle, crush the no-dose tablet into a fine powder. Transfer as much of the tablet as possible into the 50 milliliter beaker. In order to make a 0.1 molar solution of HCl, use 1 milliliter of 1 molar HCl and 9 milliliters of water. Do this twice for a total of 40 milliliters. With your stir bar added, you're going to have about 20 milliliters of solution in your 50 milliliter beaker. Make sure you note the volume before you start boiling. After boiling, and you have about 7 to 10 milliliters of the mixture left, when it's cool to the touch, remove it from the hot plate and allow any solid to settle. Once you've allowed the solution to cool and the solid has settled to the bottom, decant just the liquid out. It goes into a centrifuge tube and into an ice bath there. for three minutes. After the centrifuge tube has cooled for three minutes, you're going to put two milliliters of methylene chloride into the centrifuge tube. And this is where the extraction is going to occur as you invert the centrifuge tube several times. Okay, so we've put in our methylene chloride, we've inverted it, and this separation has occurred between the aqueous and the organic layer. And our molecule, caffeine, should be in the organic layer, so that's the layer we want to extract, but how do we know which layer is the organic layer? Uh, if you had the densities of the two solutions, you could figure that out, but you actually don't even need that. What we're going to do is we're going to add some water, and whichever phase grows in size is the aqueous layer you'll see that that yellow layer is getting taller, but that layer at the bottom is not. So the bottom layer must be the organic layer, and that's the one that we're going to pipette out. After you've performed your extraction a total of three times, you're going to add sodium sulfate to your organic solution. What sodium sulfate does is it makes sure that we get all of the water out of our solution. As you pour in your sodium sulfate, you'll see that it starts to clump up on the bottom. So as we're swirling it, you can see that the clumps aren't moving. That means that there is water in our solution. We're going to keep putting in anhydrous sodium sulfate until we get kind of floaty pieces. That means that that anhydrous sodium sulfate isn't grabbing any more water. Now you'll tear the Erlenmeyer flask by putting it on the scale and recording its mass. Remove your organic layer into the teared Erlenmeyer flask. To make sure we've gotten all of our product, we'll wash the sodium sulfate with 2 milliliters of methylene chloride and add it to the flask.
under the fume hood, boil off your methylene chloride. The boiling point of methylene chloride is only 40 degrees Celsius, so if you see it overboiling, reduce the heat. Once the methylene chloride has evaporated, you'll have solid left in the bottom of your Erlenmeyer flask. Measure the mass, calculate your percent yield, and run an IR.